Hi, I'm Debbie Moseman. I'm one of the eight broads in the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen here at Swiss Woods Bed and Breakfast in Lodditz, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to do something that is super simple to do for either an Easter brunch or a Mother's Day with some help from the kids. It's just a really easy breakfast, but yet it looks amazing. So here we go. We're going to do ham cups, which is basically a piece of ham um, filled with eggs and um, other things like today we're going to do onions and spinach and then they are baked. So what we're basically going to do is take round ham, tuck it into our muffin tin and then fill an egg in and fill in some onions and some spinach. So I'm going to get my spinach and onions ready. These are little spring onions. The reason that I'm using them and not regular onions is because these will cook quicker. They're much more tender and for the very short 10 to 15 minute uh, baking time that we use these, uh, these will get done whereas the other ones will not. So we're just going to slice these puppies up very quickly here. They're washed and cleaned and ready to go as is our spinach. The spinach, you want to make sure that you remove any of the, the spines and the stems because they are a little tough to, tough to um, chew. They're they don't bake as well. It's just you want to get rid of the spines. So this is washed spinach straight from the garden from my organic grocer down the street. Wonderful stuff. We're just going to pull the leaves off and do a really coarse chop. We don't need a lot. This is more for what it looks like than it is for a ton of flavor. But it is nice to have in the whole process. Okay, so there we are. Beautiful little coarse chop, and we are ready to roll. Let's put the knife away. It's the last time we'll need that. Put this over to our side and pull our muffin tin in. We have sprayed this with just your regular old kitchen spray. Want to make sure that each each tin gets enough. That is so that it doesn't stick and you can pull it out easily when you serve. And we're going to take our, our ham. I get ham that is basically round. You don't want the square ham and you want to make sure that your ham is whole, meaning that it doesn't have a lot of holes in it, that it is that it will cover your entire um, tin. And see what I'm doing here? All I'm doing is folding it on itself into these muffin tins. Now I reckon when I'm doing a breakfast, I reckon two of these per person, if that, this is the main dish, and if I'm serving it with, say, hash browns and or roasted root vegetables or something like that. If, as we're doing tomorrow, we're serving it with a sweet breakfast, it is the side to some granola pancakes, I only do one a person because that is about all that we need. So let's just tuck these in here easily. You don't want to rip them. I just almost did that. But if you do, it's not the end of the earth. The um, the eggs, the egg white will kind of settle in there and as it bakes it'll solidify and, and seal that hole. Sometimes I take Dijon mustard and brush it into the cups as well. That gives a nice added flavor. Other times I use a black forest ham that has the black edges. That bakes up really beautifully as well. Just make sure that your deli does not slice these too thin or they will tear. Okay, here we have the eight. So this would be enough for eight people serving one, four people serving two. Okay, just press that in there. I broke my eggs into a bowl already. That's so that I can make sure that they're perfect eggs, that they don't have any of the little spots or things going on that we don't want in our ham cups. And then we just take them and we pour one at a time into these cups. Often. Now, I didn't do that for that one, but we, I like to put the onion and the spinach on the bottom as opposed to on the top. It does cook a little better down there, and it gets a really nice flavor with the, um, with the eggs. Some of it will float to the top. That, doesn't, that's, that gives it a nice little look to it as well. But we're just going to tuck that there on the bottom. It also seals off the bottom if you happen to have a, um, a small hole in the ham. See, this is all we do, one, two, three, four, five. Just go right around and pour them into the cups, making sure that you get them in and not off to the side. Okay, one more. Just break him into the cup, looks good. These are locally ha ra um, raised 
Happy Eggs from Happy Chickens. And because we didn't put that on the bottom here, we're gonna put it on the top, spread this out a little bit as well. Then I'm gonna take my fresh ground pepper. This is a peppercorn mix of green, red, black, and white pepper. Gives a really nice flavor to it all. You can use things like hot sauce in here. You can sprinkle it with a little bit of um, seasoned salt, like an applewood smoked salt is, is incredible. Tastes really good with the ham and the egg. And um, pretty much anything that you can think of. Now I have some pink Himalayan salt. I don't over salt anything going into the oven because the guests, your guests, the people who are eating it, can salt it according to what they like. You don't want to over salt. There's a lot of people that are on low salt diets, but you do want to have some salt to give it the flavor. So there we are, all ready for the oven. We're gonna pop those into a 400 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes, just until the white set. You don't want it under set. You do want the white totally set and the yolk kind of runny. So you'll be able to tell that by jiggling that and the white stays still. My preheated 400 degree oven into the middle and we'll be back in 15 minutes. So we just had our beeper go at 12 minutes and we are ready to pull it out of the oven. Just beautiful, wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is what they look like and they brown around the edges. Look how beautifully they brown. And if we shake them just a little, we'll see that the yolk is just slightly soft. Now I usually err on the side of too done as opposed to underdone with these because um, it's just a little better when you're serving it, they hold up a little better. Let's grab a little spatula and you notice we've put our, we have put our uh, plate together with lightly toasted bread, a little bit of salsa, a little bit of spinach and strawberries just for color and looks, plus they are totally edible. And we are going to pull these out of the, of the, there we go, voila. One, two. Don't they look just gorgeous? Set these right here. And that plate is ready to go out. Now let's just get a fork here and give these babies a try. Guten Appetit! And there they are, just, just beautifully soft in the middle and done around the edges. Mm. Mm, just perfect. Thank you for coming to my kitchen. We hope to see you again sometime.